Alliance is set to unveil its National Resistance Movement wing today as the opposition readies itself for another round of civil disobedience across the country under the Banner People's Assembly. Now, NASA principals who met uh, governors and a section of MPs elected under the alliance agreed to mobilize the county assemblies for approval and mobilization of grassroots leaders for a major conference to be convened at a later date. As they tried on their National Resistance Movement regalia, NASA the People's National Assembly will comprise of governors, their deputies, MPs, MCAs, religious, trade union and civil society leaders, as well as representatives of women and youth organizations. The resistance trademark regalia includes caps and t-shirts with a slogan, Resist, that will be unveiled today as well. Well, let's now link up with Duncan Hayemba, who is uh, joining us live from our city centre studios. Duncan, uh, most of the unveiling, at least for the regalia, is expected to take place today. What are we expecting later? What we do expect later, Michelle, could be finer details or at least some uh, details that will uh, give uh, clarity on uh, what could be a uh, way forward for NASA. Remember that... Um, after when uh, they clearly uh, unveiled the term, the resistance movement, it was a day before the repeat of uh, the presidential election, which they boycotted. And then the second uh, uh, public uh, uh, media briefing was uh, uh, on Tuesday, when a NASA leader now uh, spoke for the first time after the fresh presidential election repeat, which he boycotted. And now yesterday, after meeting the governors, and of course them agreeing that they will be playing a critical role in mobilizing their county assemblies and grassroots leaders for the major convention, I, we do understand that, among other things, they did approve uh, proposals by the NASA leadership on a way forward. And I, I hear uh, some of the things they've said was uh, the approval of the coalition's plan to form a special committee that will review the Constitution and address matters that they think would be fundamental to constitutional amendments, which clearly means they could be picking from where the Okoa Kenya Initiative uh, 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 stopped. Remember that uh, there was that push, the Okoa Kenya Initiative, that CODE then wanted to push for key, uh, what they called imperative uh, changes to the amendments to the Constitution. And therefore, yesterday when they met the governors, MPs, and uh, section of MCS, of course, they agreed that there's need to uh, pick from where our core Kenya initiative uh, left. And some of the details that perhaps they'll be unveiling or giving Kenyans, apart from the regalia, the resist uh, movement regalia, uh, they are talking of protection of and safeguarding devolution. And then there's also the architecture and the structure of executive and parliament. It seems that NASA wants a change in terms of uh, uh, what the new look uh, executive and parliament should be. Remember, NCCK has also moved such proposal that we need to have a glorified opposition in that uh, it should not be a winner-takes-all situation. So they seem to be reading from the same script from what the church is uh, pushing under the NCCK banner. And also they are talking of inclusivity and discrimination in allocation and distribution of public resources. And then the, there's review of performance of the national security organs and abuses thereof by the executive. And then number five is the structure and establishment of independent electoral body. And then uh, number six proposal that the change they would want seen is the creation of an enabling conducive environment for economic growth and development. So already NASA has sort of uh, six proposals which uh, we understand governors, their deputies, senators, members of the National Assembly and MCS are approved. Therefore, this could be some of the details that uh, that uh, particular uh, coalition will be uh, giving to the public apart from uh, the official unveiling of uh, that particular outfit that we've seen with the T-shirt and the cap with the uh, slogan resist. So those could be some of the issues that will be coming out once those uh, once they convene, once that media briefing is convened in the course of the day. Michelle. Just very briefly, uh, al along with their policy of non-cooperation with the Ghibli administration as a plan on an economic boycott and uh, you know possibly boycotting goods or products that um, are allied or benefit the Ghibli administration, do we know yet uh, what products these are specifically or are we likely to know that today? 
we are yet to know the specific the products of course they do understand what would be the serious ramifications but you can clearly guess of course um, nasa picked issue with safaricom they'd talked of safaricom played a key role in what they called manipulation of results which safaricom refused of course but you know what would be the implications if they would call for for instance uh, a boycott of safaricom products i mean uh, the safaricom has the highest number of mobile phone subscribers uh, the key services of course mpesa so there are some that might be far-fetched or they might not actually materialize at all but there are some perhaps they could for instance if they'd call for boycott on uh, uh, issues to do with uh, perhaps milk products of course everybody knows that with the cost of inflation many people are not necessarily using those products uh, so even if you'd call for that boycott it could have insignificant impact many have cut down the manner in which they are doing their intake because of the harsh economic times so it's not so sure that it's not yet clear uh, what such impact of a boycott would be have we ever had a very serious uh, impact on any boycott of products in kenya not yet if this one will take place we'll want to see what exactly that one will be therefore it's still a matter of wait and see situation but perhaps uh, many what many people are guessing and perhaps what is uh, preoccupying many kenyans mind is what exactly is this people's assembly all about there are those that are saying perhaps it could be a kenyan spring or a tahrir of kenyan type but uh, do we have that capacity to mobilize or to mobilize crowds that can have a sit-in or sustain protests for that long? That is a matter of wait and see situation. Or how are they going to do it differently? If, in fact, if it could be a sneak preview on what that particular civil disobedience would be, is what we witnessed on 26th, where they made it impossible for government to actually move because uh, in uh, four counties, we didn't have an election. That could have been a plus on their side, but it came with a heavy price. Is that supposed to be replicated and how far can it be re re replicated across the country? So those are some of the issues that people want to uh, want it to come out clear on how are we going to have this particular people's assembly. In 2014, there was such call when Okoa Kenya push began. Of course, uh, there was what many called uh, an anti-climax so when then called uh, on Saba Saba day people thought that they would uh, storm for instance state house that day it caught the government of course the security apparatus worried we do remember roads like leading to state house Serena the processional way major roads were actually barricaded nobody knew exactly what that Saba Saba day would be but many said at the end of it there was nothing supporters were kept waiting at Uhuru Park until past five Nobody actually knew what next would follow, but uh, Kenya is totally different. But if there's something new that will come out, that is something that everybody will be waiting. And also, Michelle, that issue of funding, uh, who will be funding that particular uh, movement and for how long are they going to sustain it? Of course, they've said this civil disobedience, they want to have it to push that time within 90 days we need to have another election. But the government had to spend extra 12 billion for the fresh presidential election is it uh, possible that uh, their push will push the government again to go back to the coffers the public uh, 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 to the taxpayers and again deep in and uh, uh, get more resources do we have that kind of money so those are some of the issues that uh, many people will be uh, grappling with on uh, how exactly this particular people's assembly will be uh, conducting its affairs and whether their push or their pressure on government will make um, stakeholders succumb to the pressure and maybe heed to their calls, whatever that will be. So perhaps those are the issues that we'd want to get clarity from the principals if they will allow a clear, uh, maybe they will allow interrogation when uh, they give the details in the course of the day. All right, many thanks, uh, Senior Political Affairs Reporter Duncan Heimberg. They're joining us live from our city centre.